Hello everyone, this is Vincenzo and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you a game uh, that I played like 5 months ago. I was rated 1465 and I lost uh, this game and I want to show you this exact uh, game because it was one of the hardest uh, defeats to accept. It was very hard uh, to deal with this game. I remember that after I lost this game, I just went to sleep. Like, I was very sad. So, sometimes in chess, you are going to lose and you have to accept uh, your the loss and you have to deal with it. Yeah, basically. There is no other way, otherwise you can feel uh, really bad. So this is why I want to show you this game, because even if it was a game from uh, five months ago, I still remember that it was very difficult to accept the loss. So uh, here you can see the graph, and as you can see I was winning for most of the game, then I started blundering, and then I blundered a, an almost plus 6 advantage to a mating 4 and you might think that mating 4 is hard to see but this one was not uh, the the accuracy yeah my opponent played with better accuracy um, over 70 uh, accuracy for both which is not too bad for 1400 rated players but it's not ideal uh, so let's analyze the game I started with d4 uh, and my opponent played knight f6 so this can lead to uh, a London system or an Indian game there are a lot of openings like this I went bishop f4 as always and now my opponent went d5 and I played knight f3. And here I am surprised to see that I did play this move because I actually prefer knight f3 in this position because if you play e3 then uh, black can play knight h5 attacking your bishop and uh, you don't really want to lose uh, the bishop for the knight and also allow black to demonstrate your pawn structure so if you go here black will just kick your bishop around and then uh, will eventually take it with the knight so I don't like that idea and this is why I went knight f3 now this is not a common move uh, because the bishop isn't really pinning the knight uh, although now I played e3 and now it, it is pinning the knight but there is no threat so no problem if black wants to exchange his uh, bishop for my knight uh, well I'm happy with, with that so another non-standard move uh, I guess that the idea behind this move is to go e6, then move the queen and castle queenside. Oops. But I don't really know why knight um, d7 instead of simply c5. Now I went bishop e2 to block the pin. And now uh, I completed the pyramid and here I played a mistake because um, uh, there is this move which is very annoying g5 and it leads to the same problem I have to slide back my bishop and now black will exchange the bishop uh, the knight for the bishop but he didn't he instead took uh, my knight with the bishop and I took back with the bishop the idea is that if black moves the let's say 
the bishop here or whatever moves uh, I just win a pawn yeah that's simple but uh, black took my, my knight so I took with the queen now this uh, move g5 anyway because it is defended by the queen I slide back no problem h5 my opponent is playing aggressively taking some space no problem I go h4 g5 uh, g4 sorry and I slide the bishop back now the knight moves to f6 which is a bad move uh, it would have been better to go here probably or f5 because if you move the h and the g pawn you might as well move the f pawn and start an attack on the queen side now i went here uh, i wanted to play the pawn break but it is not a very good move and black played a normal looking move bishop d6 I traded which is bad because why would I activate uh, my opponent's queen and prepare his king to, to castle so I castled to avoid this check and my opponent did the same now I moved um, the queen to a light square, maybe with some ideas in the future. The queen gets in. I defended the pawn with a very ugly and passive move, but I thought it was necessary to defend the pawn. So the queen moved uh, further in my position. And here I went e4 and the engine says that this is a big mistake now black has a minus 2.5 advantage but I don't really know why yeah, here this line probably just because the the queen gets very active and this pawn will be a, a passed pawn so yeah the position looks uh, nice for for black now uh, black took and I took the e pawn uh, black gave me this check I slide the king uh, over and now oh okay now black wins uh, simply a pawn now I go here to uh, prepare some discovered attacks on the queen yeah and this is uh, obviously a very bad move for my opponent because it just blunders a knight which I found uh, I'm glad uh, that I found it but uh, this game is not over unfortunately my opponent kept playing so I activated my pieces Here the engine is suggesting to uh, a very nice move rook takes because if rook takes I'm winning my my rook back although yeah I guess can uh, it can block but uh, I'm putting more pressure so this is very a very nice attack this uh, rook is pinned I'm going to bring my other rook so a very nice position I didn't see this move rook takes and instead I just attacked the, the rook on e8 now uh, there is another nice move which is bishop takes and you get a very strong attack imagine this pawn takes you take and if the rook blocks you take the the rook we check you're going to win the pawn and you're going to win the game but i didn't see it i wasn't very sharp uh, at that level and especially in this game because i i blundered uh, terribly later on 
now uh, now black is taking most more space maybe he is thinking about uh, making a pot spawn but I defend everything no problem I see if I can win some pawns here now I took a pawn but this started to look uh, a, a little bit scary but yeah when my opponent played this move I could get out with a uh, check so now I slide my bishop out of danger check and I block the check with the bishop and I, I lose the, uh, a pawn now so I I was feeling like oh no I'm already uh, giving back some material but there is no problem but actually uh, as a human you might see that black has a lot of pawns that wants to want to uh, promote so I have to be careful and this is why I defended my h pawn now uh, my opponent just moved the queen and here I offered a queen trade and it is a blunder because uh, I blunder away a plus 7 advantage and it is only plus 2 after so yeah my opponent uh, though didn't um, accept the, the trade and I offered the queen trade again and as you can see it is the same situation my opponent again didn't accept it and here uh, again I offer a queen trade I was very stubborn on trading queens because I was up a piece but um, if I trade queens I have to be very careful because of the, the pawns but this was a uh, uh, we only had like two and a half minutes each so I was confident my opponent uh, didn't accept the the um, trade and I lift the rook now I moved my queen out of the um, g file and my opponent starts uh, pushing but I just put uh, a rook behind the pawn and take it now this is looking better I'm up three pawns but I have to defend uh, my h pawn so this is why I stay on the h file now I move my bishop as you can see I have an extra piece which is the bishop but I don't really know how to use it so black gave me a check and now um, uh, I played the worst possible moves move uh, I had two minutes on the clock and of course the best move would have been king c1 but I completely missed that after king a1 there is a back rank checkmate my opponent uh, blundered three pawns in in this game but of course he saw the move so and here you can see I had two minutes and when I realized that it was back rank checkmate I was so sad that I um, yeah, I didn't even want to move and then you can see here uh, I went from two minutes to one second and this is this wasn't even to uh, uh, annoy my opponent but I was just so sad that I was looking back at the whole game um, yeah in two minutes and then I decided to allow uh, the checkmate I blocked with the queen he took I blocked with the rook he took I blocked with the bishop he took and I lost this game and as I said I was so sad uh, about 
this game that I just went to to sleep after that. So I wanted to show you my hardest uh, loss so far. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, leave a like and let me know which was uh, the hardest uh, loss you you uh, ever had. And if you want, uh, feel free to send me uh, the game on chess.com and I'm going to analyze it and upload, uh, make a video about it and upload it in my uh, subscribers games uh, playlist. Okay, thank you very much for watching, uh, for uh, what? I don't know what I, I said. But thanks uh, very much for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to support me because um, we are only five subs away from 400 subs. So it will be very, very nice for me to hit that number and see you in the next video.